Hi Virgo, welcome to your October astrology. And October is a time where, of course, it's right after your birthday month, and generally this is a very busy time for most Virgos because there's a push energy to get going, make things, make things happen in your life that are important for you. And furthermore, a lot of Virgo energy. On the 8th of October, Venus goes into Virgo. Now she went retrograde at zero degrees of Virgo in the summertime, spent all that time in Leo. And now on the 8th, she goes back over her shadow point. She goes into your sign, which is a good thing. So this is a time where you can start to really feel good, look good, just little, little things come your way. On the 9th of October, Mercury, your ruling planet, goes direct at zero degrees of Libra, conjunct the North Node. And Mercury going direct at zero degrees of Libra Conjunct this north node in, in north node in Libra is saying think about where you want to go, what's important for you, direction you want to go in. That will bring fairness, balance. Libra is ruled by Venus. Venus is now in Virgo. The things that you value about your life. Now this energy is in what's called the solar second house for you, which has to do with finances. Yes. But it also has to do with your talents, your gifts, and your innate, uh, uh, your innate gifts. So how can you develop your talents? Really feel good about, hey, I have this gift. Am I using it? Do I want to use it? What do I need to do to further my own gifts that I incarnated onto the planet with? The new moon in Libra on the 12th, very powerful. It packs a punch. Now Libra is the, every new moon in Libra, every Libra cycle is the universe's shout out that says bring balance, peace, harmony, and justice onto the planet. Kindness. Why can't we all be kind to each other? Yet this new moon is opposite Uranus, which is very revolutionary, wanting to break free. It's opposite Eris, a, a symbol for feeling very frustrated and angry that left out in life. You know, why them and not me? How come I don't have this? How come I can't get into this uh, thing in life, click, whether it's a job, whether anything? For some people, it's country. <laughs> um, and that with thinking of all the, the this great current migration that's going on from Syria, all the, the wounded souls just trying to find peace and harmony in their life, right? The frustration that they could feel. And yet, yeah, but this is about where in your life might you feel that. Where do you want peace? Where do you want harmony? And for you, because of the nature of the angle of it to you, part of it's going to come out about developing your talents and having the money to do so. Having the financial wherewithal to be able to um, really shine in life, really share your gifts with others, and to take care of yourself too. Now, with this new moon, there's a subtle energy that's very important to talk about, but it's harder to see when you just initially look at the chart. And it's with Neptune and Saturn, and that vibration, that's saying there's going to be this vib undercurrent vibration of, first, uh, of despair, really, or depression. And those are honest human emotions, and there you can pick that up. It's not necessarily that you're going to have that, but there can be this vibration on the planet of those who are suffering and have lost hope. Now, what's important for you is to make sure that the, what you are working on, you know, I'm going to develop this talent, I'm going to be able to get the money together to be able to do that, that you believe in it that you haven't given up along the way, that you haven't, you know, you don't have this subconscious feeling, well, well, that's, that's only for others and I'm, I'm disenfranchised. You don't, you want to allow that to be really true to yourself, you know, be real. And if you do feel that, to be able to bring it up and release it and let it go and change the belief system. The sun goes into Scorpio on the 23rd so there's this shift of energy at that time. 
and the sun in uh, Scorpio is a time where you might start dreaming a little bit more, if you work with a journal, do some journaling, more communication. And by the way, because there's such a strong vibration of uh, Virgo planets, the, we're going to have a Mars conjunct Jupiter, Venus conjunct Jupiter, which of course is all in Virgo, that this time for you really is about feeling strong in your own life and putting yourself forward. And the full moon, the month ends with the full moon from Scorpio to Taurus, of course. And this is about, for you, this is about that belief system. You know, what is it that I need to learn? What can I learn to develop these talents? And the little things that you can learn. But also believing in yourself and it can be a great time to do some travels. It doesn't have to be huge vacation, but even if it's just a little travel here and there, this, the energy towards the end of the month is, or planning some travels, it's a very good time to think about that. Thanks so much and have a great October.